Yeah. 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 Yeah.
as you are, and we lift ourselves up to you. Give us wisdom and understanding, Lord. Lord, we know by all things you all things we do are possible through with you and only you, Lord. Lord, lift us, bless us, our teachers, our administrators, and this board, Lord. We lift, we lift them all up to you in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Concerns that we're looking at, though, we, we're going to try and have. We're going to schedule an executive committee meeting for uh, Monday, June 19th, at three o'clock. Um, so, I'll do I'm not saying you can't meet them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, uh, Maria will be on that. I think because we need to go to meet them. We need you there. And we need negative. Right. And we need, you know, so. Well, let's do Monday morning. Can we do Monday morning? Will, will Maria be back? It should be back. I think it's just Maria. It's. Yeah, but I'm saying. Yeah, but she's like sitting in instead of okay. uh, in, in no, Bo's place. I thought you could do Monday. I'm sorry. I can do Monday, like, I have workouts at 7. Okay. So I, do, I won't be through till 10, 10 30, so I come back for that. That's not a We have to do after 10 or something. You leave at 10 or you can be here at 10? Mm, I'm going to be pushing to be here at 10, but I mean, okay. I can get somebody to cover that. Maybe at 11? Yeah. How about 11 o'clock on Monday? That's good. 11, this coming Monday? Yes. This coming Monday, 11 o'clock. All right. So, what meeting is this? Is what was the policy meeting? No, the executive. The executive. So, 6, 12 at 11 o'clock. Right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> is that all you had, Randy? That's, That's it. it. All right. Okay. All right. Item B is approved minutes of May 18th, 2023 board meeting, May 23rd, 2023 athletic committee meeting, and May 25th, 2023 policy committee meeting. I make a motion to approve one. Mm -hmm. I have a second. All right. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, item C is recognized Doreen Ray as employee of the month. And I get to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. So come stand up here, Miss Doreen. I'm going to read a little bit. I'm standing in on behalf of Taylor and Sons, and okay. you've been nominated for the uh, employee of the month. Let me read for you what people said about you. Oh, no. All good stuff. <laughs> it says, Miss Doreen goes above and beyond to help everyone. She makes sure all buses are pulled up and in line if anyone is running late or has a sub driver. She speaks to everyone, is always smiling and positive. Miss Doreen has stepped up to help other bus operators every day. She'll pull your bus up in line for you when needed. Apparently she does this for a lot of people. Um, and helps every, keep everyone organized. She's, a supportive, she's supportive to her coworkers. She listens if you need to vent or just praise someone. Doreen is our Bus Drivers Association secretary also. She's kind and comes to work with a positive attitude and a smile, works well with her students, and they love her, and they don't mind showing her that they do. Just about every day, you can hear a student yell, Hey, Miss Ray, or one comes and hugs her. Doreen hardly misses work, and that's a big plus. So yes. We're proud you're ours. So on behalf of Taylor and Sons, Thank you. All right, item B is vote on the update to student uses of personnel and electronic devices policy file J D J C D A E C L. That's a long one. IFBGA per recommendation from policy committee. Mr. Council, we did meet. Uh, thanks to uh, Elena and her staff, Junior High, uh, and their staff. I was able to learn a little bit this morning. I think the board should be aware that Junior High and High School are totally different. Problems are totally different. Uh, issues are totally different. So uh, somewhere we arrived you know, at a policy where uh, I think everybody, you know, was pretty much happy. Uh, Nick has got the information on the changes. Uh, cell phones, at some point, uh, if the policy don't work out, we, we're going to, you know, have to do uh, something. We don't have to discuss it tonight. Uh, but I think we do have a policy that uh, we're willing to recommend to the board. And, uh, let the board decide whether they want to uh, affirm, reject, or modify. And Nick, you can, I assume Tim, you can go over the changes that we uh, have versus what we made. Look, there's three um, documents in your folder. The first one is the current policy. And so as we begin looking at this policy, especially in depth this morning, um, what we noticed is, um, of course, it was written in 2013. So it's, um, 10 years old 
And um, so what we, we looked at is, of course, right now, you know, students are expected to have them off. Um, and shall be concealed in um, a pocket, backpack, purse, or other area. I think where we really end up with some trouble is on page two because at the time that this policy was written, 2013. in 2013, we didn't have one-to-one -one Chromebooks for our students. And so there was this push to allow students to use their technology. And so on page two, there are all these guidelines about the educational use of personal mobile devices. And I think that this is probably where it gets kind of sketchy with, with teachers. Some enforce it hard, some don't enforce it. And so you, you have this window of being able to use your phone for educational purposes. And, and some do or some don't. So I think this is where we kind of landed on the gray area being. Um, we talked about at the policy meeting about coming up with, you know, a, a strict enforcement of the current policy and um, maybe a one-shot deal. And I think that's what the agenda says is that you have one warning and then you're done or completely banning the phones. And so at that point, Miss Christian, um, who teaches dual enrollment English and history at the high school, says, I love to research. I don't mind doing the research to see what else is out there. And so Miss Christian put together that two page report I sent y'all. Do you have any questions for Miss Christian on that, um, on that research before? Because I asked her to be here. Is there anything that you want to say in relation to that? Um, the only thing that I noticed, and it was really hard to get um, a clear you can't really find student handbooks for other people's schools very easily, fun fact. Um, but I tried. And the only one that I really found was Union Parish, which apparently already has a full phone ban. And I never found, not even in like the news articles and things that I located, anything that had that one shot and then it's completely banned. It was either the default policy, which we're already using, 2013, which is when I graduated. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then the complete ban. Mm -hmm. um, so I personally think that doing a complete ban would be ultimately easier, especially where there's been so many disparities between like uniform enforcement, mm -hmm. because that was another thing that every school was talking about. It was really difficult to have every teacher get behind something when there was so much gray area in mm -hmm. how to apply it. When it's just, if I see it, if I hear it, if it's on at all, it's ours, that's pretty straightforward. Which is, which is where we arrived at, uh, Gary. The junior high don't have those same problems that the high school have. Uh, we looked at and considered, uh, you know, the banning. Uh, it's not off the table, but the policy that's here now, the principals feel like they can get their faculty to, if you want to call it a last ditch effort, so they can have a phone, because we don't want to make it too miserable. Uh, we want to make it to where rules exist. Uh, I'm with the ban. I'm not there yet. If, if we can't get it done now, I think we looked at uh, revisiting this six months or the next following year, depending on the problems. And uh, at that point, they're banned because they are, Mr. Ford, uh, I think you've talked to me about some issues that uh, you've experienced. I think most teachers at some point uh, has experienced some problems. Again, I think the board wants to be flexible, but if that flexibility is abused, then we're not going to have no other choice because the teacher's not going to be able to control the classroom. They're not going to be able to police the restroom, uh, going into the locker room. So there are places, even with a policy, that they're going to be able to use the phone. And even if they're banned, it was indicated today that they're still going to bring the phone to school. So there's going to be some level of uh, issues that you have. But again, a total ban would uh, push you there. But I think the policy from the principal standpoint is something they feel they can work with and as a chairman uh, I don't have a problem with giving them an opportunity to recommend it. Of course I did tell them it's a board vote not my vote. So <laughs> here we are Nick and you can uh, go over the... Alright so yeah if you look at the draft this is kind of the, the notes that I took trying to put together. I did pull um, a um, I pulled Washita Parish's cell phone policy that was updated in 21 thought that would be a better place to start than 2013. 
And so um, what it basically says is it includes the cell phones, cameras, videotape recorders, digital recorders of any kind, music players or electronic telecommunication devices such as earbuds and smartwatches because those are problems um, in public school buildings and on school buses used to transport public school students during school hours. Cell phone use is defined for this policy as the cell phone being on. And, and that means if the alarm goes off, mm -hmm. it's on. Yeah, so this would mean, and, and that's what our policy actually right. says is it has to be off, and this, this concurs with that. Um, cell phone use is on. Student cell phones and devices are required to be kept out of sight. Um, and I've put in here parentheses in a backpack or purse because part of the problem with the existing policy is it says it can be in your pocket. Well, then they fall out of the pocket, so mm -hmm. it's easy to get out of the pocket. And so then you're dealing with, oh, no, I just was checking the time, or you've got that accessibility. Whereas if it's in a purse or a backpack and it's not seen, then it's easier to, to keep that out of, out of view. So we kind of, you know, landed on that. Turned off during school hours um, in the building and on school grounds, and it just says that anything below is all those devices we talked about. So we went on to the cell phone electronic devices discipline. School administrators shall use the following procedure as corrective action for any student who violates this policy. So for a first offense, and this is going by the if you give them the one and done. Um, first offense would be a major discipline referral, parents to be called, um, and a choice of a consequence. Um, we talked about upping the fine. Right now it's $15, but upping it to $25 so that it hurts a little bit more. You have a choice of these three. You can pay the $25 to get your parent to pick it up that day. The second one would be that it would be locked up for 10 days um, in a safe. And the third choice would be ISS for three days. And that way you have a choice your first time, you know, what's the penalty. And then the parent and guardian will sign the cell phone agreement acknowledging that if this happens again, we move to step two. Here's where we kind of went with, let's go with a second offense, and so kind of a three strikes you're out as opposed to just one and done, and you can say yes or no to this. But the second time you're caught with it, it's a major discipline referral again. This time you only get two choices. You no longer can pay to get it back. Either it's locked up for 10 days or you serve three days in ISS. And the parent or guardian signs the cell phone agreement acknowledging this is the second violation. Third time, and that, that's where I differ. One time, that's it. Second time, you should be banned. If phones are a problem at school, continue to give them a chance after chance after chance, you don't feed to it. I think uh, the high school position was that, uh, why should you have a phone at school anyway when you have Chromebooks? So I was trying to split hairs between the junior high and the high school because I didn't want her uh, to change her position. But uh, this right here, Again, we, we all have an opportunity to vote. Rand, I think you may have been at the initial meeting, so I don't know if you got any uh, more input, but I just know the teachers are saying that there's a problem. And if there's a problem, I want to address that. Give those kids a chance, that first option. If you violate that, then you're on your own. So I guess the third option is what? Well, and then the third offense would be that it's your ban, basically. It's a, another major discipline referral. So this is three major discipline referrals. Parents called. This time the students are assigned to ISS for five days, and you're banned from bringing the cell phone okay. back to school. Okay, I, I didn't read this third one. So okay. the, the, the second one, the third one actually take care of what I'm looking at. Right, the first yeah. One. So, it just okay. gives you the you third, third strike and you're out, uh, uh, basically. Is that for the whole... Everybody. I fail, I fail to understand how sending a kid to ISS for five days is going to do anything on this. My thing was going to ask you is how many ISS teachers you got. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and a lot of them are just people. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and and I'm, I would, you're, you're there, but what do they mostly do? Do they send them to ISS or do they pay the fine? Everybody has paid the fine. Uh, That's how you pay for And how many repeat offenders do y'all have? We had 63, I think, cell phone violations that were sent to the office mm -hmm. by teachers, and we had um, five repeat offenders. That's a non factor. But when we get to number two, we take the $25 away. Right. No, no mm -hmm. longer do you. And, and my hope, my hope is that by communicating this, they just buckle down and do what they're supposed to do because I don't want 
to get my phone taken away or have to go to ISS. So, Ms. Garcia, you said most of them paid $25? It's $15. Well, now it's 15 and yes, they are like, I paid their phone for a 10 day. No yeah, I, 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 most I, of them pay the fine because to them $15 is like nothing. More. Yeah. I, I can understand. Because they're not paying it, their parents are. Yeah. Right. I said, well, I'd, I'd just take their phone to them for 10 days and just leave. Right. Yeah, so forget I, forget yeah. about the ISS yeah. and the fine. Yeah. Take their phone for 10 days. Yeah, really. That's, sure. That's going to yeah. get their yeah. attention more than anything else. So, so what, what do you want to add? The, I will just tell you, as a former principal and, and director, uh, what you end up getting into is a parent being i pay for that phone right. and so but we that's why we started the whole fine thing to right. begin with was to the, this is your first and only time you know this is your you can get it back with a fine this time right. but after that no more because the parents don't want their kids on the road without their phone you know they're they're driving to and from you know hebert wherever they are it becomes a very valid safety yeah. thing. Well, so you're trying to see. Well, I mean, that, that's the reason why yeah. we. I agree, and you can, and that's why we had that conversation that's today. That. If you, you leave your phone you in the car, you're never going to get blocker. taken away. Right. But junior high kids don't have that ability. And, and that's where we had the different. They don't have differences the between the two. No. And so you right. would be putting all that on the secretary to keep all the phones, mm -hmm. and that's just, that's not fair because they don't have a place to put it, you know. Mm -hmm. But they do also have after school activities, and I'm a junior high parent. And, and a lot of times when my kids walk out of the junior high building, they turn their phone on, and that's how they find out, do I get on the oh, bus yeah. or is mom coming to get me today? Yeah. You know? I agree with that. Yeah. So, so what's the consensus on number one? And then yeah, if, I could, if I can finish up with fourth offense, so yeah. once it's banned because the conversation came up, well, when you ban it, does it mean they're not going to bring it back? Well, you know, <laughs> there are other things that are banned at school that they bring. So you have to have, and so at that point, it's, this is your fourth major discipline referral, and so there's a possible recommendation for expulsion. I thought it should be shall, shall, recommend, shall be recommended for expulsion because you've given them one, two, three, four. It's obvious that they're not going to comply. Rather than give them another option possible, I think shall should be there. I agree. Shall be recommended for expulsion. Yeah, yeah. Shall be recommended. Because if, if they're not complying after the time. first, you know, second or third. Are we talking about for the whole school year? Yes. Forever. No, no, we're talking about for the year. Yes. Expulsion is for the year. Yeah. Oh. You're gonna, they're going to be expelled for the year? No, the, the, on their the fourth. The that's what you're saying. Is for On the fourth offense, it would be. Expulsion. Now, what we do have to remember is that we are bound by discipline laws for students with disabilities, too. That's why we put the possible, because you right. have to take all those factors into place. Oh, okay. you, I mean, it's it's just the as world. Long as that's what the possible is about. Yes. Well, what I'm, you've already, you after the fourth. That, if, if you're going to do that, define, define that. Define it, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. But after the fourth infraction, you can be eligible for expulsion. So, uh, again, what I'm trying to look at is if we have a problem with policy relative to uh, the cell phone, the more we keep giving them, we're not here to make emotions be, you know, good or make somebody happy. We're, we're trying to make a policy that these teachers and the school system can run because right now it's out of whack. You, you got people that don't respect, uh, you know, their authority. You got people that's doing whatever they want to do in, in rebellious and all. We don't need that in school. So we need, we need a uniform policy that everybody can at least try to implement it. If they can't implement it, then we have to look at the other option, which is they can't have them at school. But I sympathize after listening to you guys tell me what problems you have at school because you may have a, somebody in the first period that don't get caught. Second period don't get caught. Well, third or fourth period they end up getting caught, but you're blaming the first, second, and third person. They may not even see the phone. So, or, or like the existing policy, it gave teachers the discretion to use the phones right. for, I think that's where this, the hairs get split, is that if our policy says you can if you're using it for us. So if I tell you to, to pull out your phone and look up something, then you have that. I think by doing this and sticking straight to Chromebooks, that would, I mean, you're a teacher, would you, do you think that would make I it? I never made them use their phones for mm -hmm. anything unless, like, we were just having kind of a free day at the end of the year, mm -hmm. like that was... I would say this. I, I don't like ISS at all. I, I, I just think that's, I mean, you, major dis, discipline referral, choice of consequence, cell phone will be locked up for 10 days. 
If you get to the third one, you make it 20, but don't give them no ISS. That's taking them out of the classroom, okay? And, that, and that's rewarding them. I mean, I'm telling you, I've seen these yeah, kids. Yeah. It's okay to go to ISS. Yeah, no, I'm still going to get my work. So the teacher's going to send an assignment. I'm going to do it sitting in the ISS class. And, but when you take that phone for 20 days, that ain't no joke. But for sure, could, couldn't you change the dynamics of in-school suspension and make it what it should be rather than what it's not? Boom, boom. Yeah. We are well, we that is a conversation that we are having. Yeah, because I mean it's not a babysitting place. Yeah. I agree, but yeah. let me tell you, let me tell you what you can't do. You can't put one teacher in a classroom and have eight teachers sending assignments to the ISS room and that one person be accountable for math, science, English, history, social studies, and PE, because they make PE teachers send them too. And you have eight of them assignments in one hour that that, per that person can't keep up with all that. They just, one person can't run ISS if you're going to do it like that. We try to. I've seen it. We try to put it all on them. It'd be like putting any teacher and say, okay, Ms. Smith or Mr. Jones, you're going to teach these seven, seven subjects all at one time. Because that's what you're asking them to do. Well, and right now it's all in Google Classroom, correct? And so the students are just supposed to be logging in and doing the work that's assigned to them by their teachers. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's that all came about with COVID and trying to keep and because with ISS and alternative school are different things. And the other thing you're asking is you're asking an ISS teacher, who a lot of times is a coach, to teach math. Ain't happening. He can't he can't get into 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 advanced math, or she can't either. Whoever's in there, they can't get into chemistry. They can't teach Johnny Boy's class. But they, they use the Chromebook. Right? Yeah, but but they, you still have to make sure they do that assignment. That's a good point. But that's not really the point. The point is, I think. Well, Go ahead. Speak. I don't think ISS has it's a solution to anything as far as this goes. Okay. You know, I period. Don't I don't think it has any. You know, it's any kind of solution. If anything, like you said. Go ahead with the 10 day, with the first one, a $25 dollar fine, or locked up for 10 days. The, the second, second time, go 20 and the, the, third. Sec the second day go 20, and the third one, not at all the rest of the year. All right. And so the fourth one, I have a little problem with a fourth offense as a, now, how are you going to handle that? Um, it is a good question. Hopefully the third offense will solve that problem. But as far as a kid being experienced, you know, expelled from school for the remainder. Are we talking the remainder of the year? That's why. Yeah. That's, that's totally but, but, saying you but, but don't care about authority. It, it would be the same as if they were sent to the office for any other infraction. The first time, the second time, the policy says after the third time, then the individual can be uh, recommended for exposure. So we're following the same policy. The only difference is we're dealing with the cell phone. Yeah. I, I just think we're either going to have phones or we're not. If we're going to have, we're going to have some issues. So if we're going to have them, we're going to have to address the issues that we have and allow you guys to try to do what you can do. And if it can't be done, then we get rid of it. But I don't think we should take it away with 80% of all of you guys' faculty saying that they want this, they want that. Here's what happens. So, so if you take my phone for 20 days and Mama's only got three more months at $32 a month, that's $90. Mama, I'll pay the $90 if you get me a new cell phone. So now here comes a new cell phone back to school, or the fake cell phone that they have, or whatever. I mean, they they find ways to do this. So you've got to have something. You've got to have an exposure. When you when you completely disregard anything Miss Garcia is saying to you. Well, I'll tell you what, Randy. Or, or, if, if it'll be no, if it'll, if, no, if it'll be okay, I'll back off of the shell, and the possible is left to the discretion of it would be the child welfare and attendant based on your recommendation or the junior high's recommendation. That way it's not etched in stone that they're going to be suspended. I mean, it's fair. The possible needs to be defined. Okay. Okay, well, I'll, I'll back off of the uh, shell. Define possible. Okay. okay. Well, or define with, with discipline law and, and sped law. Yes. That, yes. What, what, what about possible purposes. recommendation and or uh, possible recommendations following what, what, whatever guidelines Nick is talking about. Okay. I can, yeah, I can, I'll, I'll I can back get that off the Right. I can get that verbiage. Do y'all want to leave the ISS in the first and ISS second and third right? events? Or, or? I just don't see how it helps. Well, I, I think ISS out. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I mean, when you get to number ISS two and I go, oh, all I got to do is go to ISS for five days? Yeah, right. Okay. Well, okay. Well, if we don't want to do it, we'll take it out. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So you want ISS out? Oh, yeah, take ISS. Of all of them. 
of all of it. Oh, what's the name? It's Rosanne. Yeah, Miss Christian. We're taking ISS out. Oh, that actually is the best possible um, because it. I had to watch ISS a few times. Mm -hmm. Both times there were cases of like a, a kid who'd been in there multiple times and a, another kid who'd been in there multiple times, they messing around, talking, giggling, doing something. Mm -hmm. And like the three kids that would be trying to get on top of stuff, they would ask me, an English and history teacher who has no business in math and science, asking me questions. I'm like, babies, mm -hmm. no. Like, I, it, it's not... It's not fruitful to a student. Like I feel like the money and then just not giving it back would have a harder hit. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. So no ISS. So first offense, you're going to have a choice of consequence. You either pay $25 fine and your parent gets it at the end of the day, or it's locked up for 10 days. That's it. Agree. That's it. So okay. that, that's it on that. Okay. Okay. Now for the second offense, your choices were. Cell phone locked up for 10 days or assigned to ISS for three days. What do you want this to say? 20 days. 20 days. Cell phone locked up for 20 days. days, and that's it. Yeah. And, the, and the third? There's no choice. Sure. Okay. And the third is, do we want any ISS here and banned or banned? Just banned. No ISS. You can't bring the phone. Just banned their phone. Banned the phone. Okay. So, so on the third is, is banned. Right. Okay. Can you, can you search a kid when it gets a yeah. If you have reasonable suspicion to believe that there's a violation of the policy, you're going to be able to search their bag. I mean, the bag. I'm not talking about yeah. the, the person. Oh, I'm talking about the bag. Yeah. I know about the other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, we know that. And, and the fourth, Nick, is after the ban is possible recommendation and or whatever mm -hmm. that's being added. So in that ban, are we just handing them their phone back that day? And they're well, banned? Well, I, I think you should put... Uh, on the fourth, I think it should be referred to uh, for a violation of status offense under Title IX, which it can, it can come to uh, the, the district court, uh, the defense office, where, because that's repeated violation of school rule. That way, uh, the office at that point, or uh, the court, can actually seize that phone for that period of time. So that takes it away. And the parent can't even go out and buy one. If, that, if they do, that's a, a violation of a court order. Okay. <laughs> sounds good that sounds really good. That sounds right. yeah. <laughs> so that on the third offense? Yeah, they, okay. uh, they, they that that can be referred uh, to uh, the uh, the district attorney's office for uh, status offenses. Uh, how would we word it? Uh, it? It would be a status offense for repeated violation of school rule. I think it's uh, Article Seven Thirty Two, uh, six or six, seven, or eight. One of them. We, I mean, we can put it in there, but it's. I think that'll help you guys out. Okay. Uh, yeah, one, one word I heard that I didn't like was warning. Okay. I don't think there needs to be no warning. Where do you see warning? You said it. Oh, where? Some teachers just oh, give them a verbal warning. warning. Oh, a verbal warning. Oh, yeah. I don't want a verbal warning. No, ver no, ver no I, that's not in no. here. So, yeah. No, no, what's no going to no happen, warnings. Johnny's going to be, well, nobody's warned me yet. Yeah, no yeah. warning. No, yeah. I mean, no come warning. on. Ain't no warning. Here it is. Right here. Right here. It's going to be in the handbook. It's going to be in the handbook. It's going to be in the handbook. And they're very beginning in the handbook. Right off the bat. All right, but what happens if you got a kid that won't give it to you, which has happened? Well, you have a, uh, a, 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 you have a, a resource officer that's there, and at that point, that individual can handle that situation. That's what the resource officer That becomes officer willful neglect. Right. No, that's not. That's a good place. Willful disobedience. Yeah. Nick, what, what we're, I, I think what we've done is split hairs again. Mm -hmm. They're, they still have use of the phone when other places are banning phone. Mm -hmm. If if you can't follow this policy after four infractions, mm -hmm. then I think you're telling the system that yeah. you don't you don't you're not gonna follow the rule anyway. You don't care what Not yeah. just about cell phones, but about anything else you don't want to you don't want right. times out And I, I think person. hoping that yeah. uh, you know your schools can you know every school can you know grab a hold. I think maybe you know the board is even if it's your friend. Now, I mean, I'm going to warn y'all something. I know exactly what they're going to do. Because I had to do it to begin with. I allowed no more than three people to go to the bathroom. Every time Dick and Perry... When they go to, I the, got to the bathroom, they, they shouldn't take their phone with them. That's just it. 
you got a girl with a purse. I can't tell her not to take that purse because she's going to say, well, it's, it's something I can't talk to you about. <laughs> but you can ask them before they leave if they have a phone. Or you can just tell them, give me your phone. Turn the phone in. Because they got it. Yeah, All of them got a phone. They yeah. got one. All of them got a phone. Yeah. I know. <laughs> well, and I think that's what we talked about today, Nick, is that in the restroom, we, we're not going to be the police that anyway. I mean, if they do it there, but if they get caught with it. What, Gary? Can we put something on the phone? Yeah, leave the phone with the teacher when I go to the bathroom. So they all got phones. But yeah, I mean, they, 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 they do. It's, it's just a cost I've always used. Like, I started that, doing Tommy? after this huh? year, actually. How about that? We just put it in the box. I just say, hey, so you can lie down on the desk or you can give it to me, and then you can go. Oh, so you do do that already? I do it, but it's yeah. not like it's not like it's a, not a policy, service right. level thing. It's just something yeah. that there are a lot of teachers. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, too. She had her calculators used to be the kids with them. So y'all had that? I would think it'd be a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, but then we gotta watch. Well, not me. We gotta watch where we put them at. I have a, um, you know, the safety boxes that you can get, like the fireproof boxes. Yeah. I got well, one of those. Well, well, maybe she can. Yeah, but that eats up time right there. Uh, uh, give some of this there. You know, some what she's doing in the classroom, and maybe others can adopt it. Because I, I think all you guys have to work together. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's, if it's working for you then surely, you know, you would think it would work for the other teachers. I, I don't know, I'm just... Admittedly, I do have, like, the best kids, period. Um, I might be biased, but they're all the seniors and the enrollment folk, and, yeah, so, like... They follow them. Yeah. They, don't, they don't want the heat. Well, so on the back in yellow, I had put the high school, um, some of the high school teachers had put this together to um, to keep the phones in the classroom, like in a, in a shoe organizer so that you take them up. I did consult with Ms. Garcia about it, and, and you want to say what you thought about that? You need to... The only, um, I like, if you're going to have them out, they need to be put up, like, put up where you can see them. Like, we had a teacher that did a shoe pocket. It was clear. She said, put them here, and they all did. Um, my thought about it is, if they're buried in the bag, like, if, if I tell them, put them in the bag, I don't want to see them. If they pull them out and put them in the shoe pockets, the bell rings and they're like, let's go. Yeah. They're going to grab their phones and they're going to put them in their pockets. The phones are trying to go and they're going to fall out. Gonna, and, 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 and if they did that yeah, under this right. policy, it's, right. it's their fault. That's right. I mean, the rules are clear. Right. So possibly not do that yellow bit right there, leave that alone. It was a great idea if you're going to have phones out. Right. But if we could just pass it where they have to be in a bag or a backpack, then there's no need to get them out. If you get them out, then you, you go through right. offense one, two, three. Because they're going to forget. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I think We're going to set them up to, to fail if we do that. I think. What's the purpose of them having yeah, a phone? Yeah, but see, you have bonds and tax. So yeah. what's the purpose of that? Is, is what you were saying. Yeah, I mean, my original thought is if you cannot have them out, you cannot have them on, what is the purpose of having them? All. If you can't use them, if you can't have them on, the only reason you would have them is for extra, like after school events. Your, all your school I'm just going to tell you, if y'all put it out there today, I'd put no cell phones. I would too. 100%. It's like every time I'm out, you know, when I was seven this year, as soon as I got out of the class, as soon as they go. and I'll be looking at, oh. That's why I said I don't want them in the pockets. I had somebody that was like, during my planning period, they legitimately were like on the phone with somebody walking down the hall. And I just looked at them like, yeah. Yeah. Do they need them for after school activities? Yeah, yeah. They, they, I think what she's saying is they need them for that. Her, her position has been, what's the purpose of having them at school when there's no use for purpose? But if the problem you don't have becomes the junior high kids. Right. Yeah, that's the, the junior high yeah. had a different problem. They don't have nowhere to drive, so they got to call the parents. Right. I would like for us to start with this first yeah. option, and then if it doesn't solve the problem, we could well, always come back and revisit the, the well, problem. Well, I, I think in 23-24, uh, uh, June, uh, May, if, if there's been major problems, mm -hmm. then I think the ban is the only other option. Yeah, let's try this one here too. I, I just, I just think you don't have no other option. I mean, what do you guys think? Y'all work. What do you think? What do you think? This. Hey, why do we have to do this? It for, why do we have to do it for a year? Yeah, we have to do it for a year. Well, we have to. I mean, you tell them suckers day one. Let me tell you what's about to happen. You got seven yeah. school board members up there that's supposed to ban cell phones. Yeah. Now you're either going to do this right or we're going to ban them. Right. And we you tell them that. Yeah, absolutely. 
This has been the biggest thing. Give them one quarter. Give them one quarter of the school year, and then yeah, we're we're review this all again. Huh? You want to review it in December? I guarantee you. Okay. Yeah. Six out of seven. Yeah, review it in December? Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just review it in December. <laughs> Is that okay? Merry we'll Christmas. December we'll, 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 we'll just review it now. I think it's right. I mean, I'm letting us know what's in there. Because I'm ready now. Say what? Yeah. They kind of have. No, I'm talking about in December to see how it's going. Oh, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Review it in December and then... Mm -hmm. and, let's and, then and then, like you said, we communicate that. This so this watches also. It's yes. every, that's watches. Watches. It's it's everything. Everything. And AirPods. And this car uh, Anything you electronic. Papers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Papers. You can tell them there's two or three systems that are already banned. Yeah. 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 All right. Anybody else want to speak? Do you have anything else? You wrote, you give me a card. All right. Well, I said was is this. This thing's been the biggest pain. One, it can take pictures of tests. Mm -hmm. So that meant I had to watch the person, make sure they were, you know, they could have it underneath the leg and all. And, and, you know, I turn around on occasion. They slip. Two, they can take pictures of people. We already know those ensigns right there. Fight! Okay, no. Um, Schedule a fight. Yeah. Yes. They really do. They, I can confirm they So and so and so and so is fighting at third period. Personally, in such and such bathroom. Something like that if we've got them on video, are they suspended? Yeah. or? Yes. Uh, okay. We've watched several when we had any altercation. We always watched them. You know, like, aha! And I'd call them and we took their phones. Good. We, did, yeah. we followed our policy there and did. But and we, at the end, I there was know. nobody. Yeah, I wish they had done this. Uh, I, really I may have to say something. I don't know if that's going to get people mad. But what I can tell you is, from what I've heard, there's no problem with banning them tonight if we can't move yeah. forward. But if we can move forward, I think we can try revisit a December uh, and. <coughs> Whatever the results are determines, you know, what angle you go. Well, the thing here is this. I don't take my phone out. Because I don't want to lead by example. I never okay. answer texts huh? in the office when they text me. I'll text, like, when I look at it during my planning period, I'm like, oh, that was three hours ago. Because I never do. Yeah. Like, I don't trust enough people to be, like, looking down. I'm going to try to bring that up. Like, I know I we're adults. Mm -hmm. But you lead by example. It's yeah, like, this is how I dress. I have my shirt choked up today. No, you don't. I did. As soon as I led them to the bus, it came out. Because if I got a fuss at a kid for not wearing a school uniform, I better be in uniform. And I know that on occasions, it's like there's been times that I had to check, like for a tournament and all and everything. I gotta look to see, all right, where the heck are we and what are we doing and all. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared to bring that up because, hey, yeah, we are the adults, which is on occasion I have told a kid who's like, who died made you one. They get upset. Um, maybe we ought to just tell them, you know, we kind of draw back a little bit because mm -hmm. I I'm out there and they're all I'm, so, I'm thinking okay. until we address that issue mm -hmm. let you guys handle what works best at your school for now mm -hmm. we're going to look at that you know the uh, employees the, yeah, and I hate bringing that up I, no 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 we're, 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 that's on the uh, mm -hmm. I mean because we, we need to look at all the policy because yeah. I mean it's been a while yeah. since we've dealt with it mm -hmm. so like I said we just but, you know, like if a coach, and I know but as a coach, you've got to have your phone on you because there's always changes with games and all and everything. Especially baseball and softball. Yeah. And tennis and golf and all the sports. Oh, yeah. I, and I understand that. Why can't he use the office phone? Because we can't get to it. You know, I'm talking about the coach. Because yeah, everybody else in the state is using mm -hmm. cell phones to yeah. communicate. Texting. Texting. Mm -hmm. Well, and I mean, it, and it could even be emails, or it could yeah, be your your group me threads of your different. I mean, I, I get it. I, I could be standing on the field and it comes through because my life is here and it's yeah. my work life and my family life. But I mean, it's, but there's you know, other things that, that mm -hmm. teachers can do. Yeah. That students cannot do. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. And I, I I have to agree with that. 
But you don't have to be on your phone in front of kids. Uh, you right. can wait until don't, the don't kids are gone and then you can check things. your yes. I, no, if I had to have a phone no, for emergency, no. I would put it in my chem my physics room. Mm -hmm. And I would say, all right, I got to go do something. You know, okay, yeah. Because there might be somebody in the hospital or something like that. I shouldn't have brought that. Uh, all right. We're going to make sure we get the policy revisions yeah. on this, and then we will get the draft, the new draft, yeah. send it to y'all. And we are in compliance with the 60-day... Uh, That's on the dress code. Yeah. Okay. This is it. All right. We have a motion. I'll make a motion that the uh, the recommended policy 2023-2024 uh, school year be adopted. And review. Review, 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 review. Yeah, review, review. Yeah, second. I second. All, all in favor? Aye. Can we add an item to the agenda now, Mayor? Do we have to just start? Oh, uh, I, I make a motion that uh, we amend the agenda to add the uh, the uh, the dress the dress code policy. Uh, file whatever it is to uh, the agenda. All right. All right. We have a second. I'll second. Do we need a vote call on that or not? You can ask me a minute. Can I see it? All right. Everybody. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I have the second. Was Ms. Melinda? Mm -hmm. Okay. So to add it to the agenda, mm -hmm. Mr. Rance? Yes. Mr. Uh, Barton? It's not a vote. This is just to add it. Yes, sir. Just, just to add it. Yes, sir. Um, Ms. Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Glass. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Mr. Pass. Yes. Okay. So this was also a discussion. Do you want to talk about? No, you can go. Yeah, let me. That's fine. That we we discussed in the policy committee meeting, and at that time, um, it was you know the principals were encouraged to meet with their faculties and come up with you know how they felt about certain items with the dress code. And so we were meeting with the high school and junior high principal and assistant principal this morning and we knew we were going to talk about dress code and we were thinking let's bring this up in July so that we have time to have all these conversations and we pulled it up in the paragraph um, uh, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth paragraph it says if the board modifies an existing uniform policy it shall notify and write in the parent or guardian of each student of the policy adoption or uniform policy modification at least 60 days prior to the effective date which, is today. which means we would need to discuss this today so as we um, began um, talking about it this is this is fast and so we, we were like okay what do we do I, I will say and I'll start here with Randy when he asked me about it is there a reason it has to be 60 days or could we modify the policy to be I think that's uh, I think that's state policy. okay and yeah. that's what I was afraid yeah, of I think so, that's state policy. okay okay so as we began talking about that with and and there's lots of people on both sides of it um uniform policy is is pretty clear but there are gray areas and everyone's going to find gray areas um with that if you move on into the general code dress code regulations at the bottom of page two it begins with caps or hats shall not be worn and that's something that we we need to enforce um, that's what employees as well right the employee dress code does not cover hats and caps, but, but it probably needs sure to. Yeah, we, we, we're going to address that. Mm -hmm. um, of course, <laughs> appropriate footwear, um, no house slippers or house shoes, that's there. At each school, you can kind of go above and beyond, and so at a school level, they may decide whether or not they want Crocs or um, Birkenstocks or, or whatever the, you know, I think you had done some research on um, must be worn as intended because kids will pop the bottom of their shoes down Especially and wear them, you know, like that. Drive. So, yeah. <laughs> um, the piercings, um, of course, leggings or tights as outer clothing, like if you have a free dress day. And so they have to have some conversations about that at school levels about is it a dress over leggings or is it a shirt? You know, how do you want that to look? The biggest thing that we kind of came up with that is part of the actual policy that has not been enforced is wearing your shirt tails tucked in, number seven, and wearing belts, number eight. And there is a divide 
amongst everybody about whether or not that needs to remain in the policy. And so, um, do you want to speak on that? Um, we did, I did a, um, a legal survey uh, with my faculty and- And the junior high. And the junior high did also. They, we both did a, we did one because this year we did not enforce belts and tape on the shirts. And from that, we had um, one issue with belts, like a kid pants hanging too low. And we called and she brought them up. But out of all of that, we just had one issue with not wearing belts. Um, so the teachers were relieved this year because that's one thing that they did not have to enforce, I guess. Didn't have to like, take your shirt in, take your belt, get your belt, you know, you go in the bathroom, take your shirt in, you come up, you sit down, take your shirt back in. So um, when I did the, the survey, I had 76% say don't enforce. Uh, they would prefer if we did not enforce um, belts and 80% said not to enforce putting in shirts. Uh, so that was just what my poll my faculty was. I think the junior high was. It was almost the same. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It, is. it It just becomes a like, yes. Okay it looks better. It looks nicer. But is it the hill we really no, want to die on? Where is where we just have to decide. You know. Um, as long as our fans are not falling back. Well, that's from the central. That <laughs> twenty. Years ago, that program, that program, that program. Well, several years. Mm -hmm. We did belts, mm -hmm. shirts tucked in. Mm -hmm. And I know it's elementary of the sixth grade. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that kind of problem. I had belt, a belt like bank. Mm -hmm. And and only, my only problem is like when we had that meeting yesterday at the staff, mm -hmm. when James Wells said that uh, if uh, he was comparing uh, the two people, the men had their shirts tucked in and the belts and everything. And, and then, of course, James Well had a belt on, but he had a shirt that was not tucked in. Mm -hmm. But when he raised it up, he had two knives on there. He had not, you know. Well, he's maintenance. What, so what, what, he what kind of knives? Yeah. So he would make the point that mm -hmm. what kids can do if their shirts are not tucked in mm -hmm. and they're hanging free. You know what they got under there? At least if you have a belt on, you know exactly what's going on. Unless they have a sweatshirt on on top or a coat on top and then or they could have a jacket. The old rule used to be that if you had to eat over the cover, they had to have it unzipped. So it just, it, to, to, so which I didn't like. it, it well, just but, becomes but, a what are you focusing your attention on all right. the time. But, but the reason right. we went to uniforms was for safety, right. to be able to d discern what a person may or may not have, to be able to distinguish a person that's on campus versus not on campus. Uh, my position was today, and it always been, but I told them I'm okay if they won't, don't want belts. I think the further you get away from uniforms, you may as well just not have uniforms. Mm -hmm. Just let them come. I like them anyway. Well, I, I told them that you, you had no issue with uh, banning uniforms and going back to regular. Like I think you got to have some order. Here's what I'm going to say about it. I, I don't, there's a dress code policy in every school system. I don't care where you are. So, whether you're in uniforms or whether you're in, I'm just going to say street clothes, there is still a dress code policy that you have to follow and it must be enforced. So when you really get technical about it, it's all uniforms, every bit of it. Because we're going to make you, you're going to run into, okay, I got holes in my jeans. Well, is it a nickel size hole or is it a quarter size hole? Or is it a softball size hole? And is it too high up my thigh? Or is it too low down my thigh? Or is, or and is my shirt too, is my skirt too short? Or is it too long? Mm -hmm. And is my top too low? Mm -hmm. Or is it, you know, and is my strap, is it a skinny strap? Or has it got to be three inches? So yes. it doesn't matter. What, if you <laughs> decide to get rid of uniforms, you're still going to have to yes. enforce policy. Yes. The easiest thing to do, whether you like it or not, is to have uniforms. You like uniforms. That's the easiest thing to do. I don't have a problem doing either one because I don't waver. No way. You're going to do what I tell you to do or you're going to hit the road, Jack. So I don't waver. So it doesn't matter to me if it's no dress code because it really is a dress code. Whether you want to say it is or not. No uniforms or not. It's still a dress code there. And it always has been. 
So, but I'm like Baron. I know I, I wasn't on this board then, but I know the fight that took place uh, on uh -huh. uniforms. Yeah. And I watched it. And, and my own son, who teaches there now, didn't go to one of the special things that they did because Susan Smith busted him for having his shirt tail out. You know what I told him? Tuck your shirt tail in. <laughs> That's what the rule is. So tuck it in. So, you know, but the safety of the issue is, that's what I'm all about. I mean, James Wells raised his shirt up. Well, I was sitting in a, in a meeting where a guy walked in with a guy with a hoodie on and baggy pants. And he pulled out 22 guns. I mean, that's why we don't allow stuff hanging all down. That's what it's, it's like Barron said. We went to a safety deal. If, 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 if law enforcement has to rush our campus, and every school, every student has a red, white, or blue shirt on. They identify them just like that. But if everybody's in street clothes, you don't know who's who. So the uniform deal, I hate to, I, I'm not a big waiver. That's why I'm like on the cell phones. Let's, let's lock it down and let's do it and let's do it like this. I mean, if, you, if you're going to take out your shirt tail and wear it down to whatever and no belt and your pants, I'm telling you. The pants, the pants bagging and sagging is going to be an issue. When we start backing away from them, Donnie, when we start backing away from them, the next thing is going to go, lost the uh, hey, uh, well, why can't we wear pierced jewelry in our nose and our eyes? Well, because the policy says. And, and, but it and, also and says you took in your it shirt. It does, tail. and that's okay. why we needed to clear that up because yeah. that's something that, and, and with the nose rings, that has become an issue. And oh, hair color. With, with the hair masks, color. and they were hiding it, right. and then when the mask came off, and it's just, it's a, we've, we've got to know, it's just those were the two things that kept coming up as are, are these things, and whatever y'all say to do, they're going to So they're you're far bail for them to in turn. I'm far if we're going to have uniforms, then let's look like uniforms. And I'm far if we're not going to have uniforms. Miss Garcia is about to have more. Miss Miss Garcia is about to have more problems with no uniforms than she ever thought about having with uniforms. We I have about it. the same amount of problems when or we more. have uniforms. So or it ain't more. no different. We're going to have to jump on. No, no, no. It, it's, 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 it's a it was a big difference. It was a whole lot different. difference. That's why we went to uniforms. It, it was no ill That's what it was a big difference. Enforcing it. Well, enforcing it. Enforcing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, telling the kid to tuck his shirt tail in ain't nothing compared to Lucy walking up there with a hole that big around right there. In blue yeah. jeans, because they buy them. Because they can wear blue they jeans. Because they buy them that way. Yeah, they can wear them. I see your point there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only... You miss a, it's going to be problems no matter if we uniform or not. <laughs> And if we're going to uniform, I just think we we uniform. I think right now we're just we're doing already doing that, but yeah, mm -hmm. we're just doing doing with right. without belts. That's all I'm yeah. asking yeah. is with without belts. Uh, shirts tails tucked in and belts. Mm -hmm. Now to finish, my, I was wasn't finished. I'll tell you about my central thing. All right. And I always said at the beginning of uniform, and we had a few problems, but it evened out, you know. And and this has been a long time. The main reason with the uniform for safety. And when you start adding all these little add-ons, guess what? You, you're taking away your safety part aspect of it. So we're going to do uniforms, okay? Red, white, and blue. Let's do like we did from the original. Just enforce it. Like you're going to enforce the cell phone. You're going to have a problem with anything. You just have to enforce the rules. Because, like James Well, I never thought about it. All the lines under there. But he was an employee and he was maintenance and all that kind of He had all kinds of stuff on that with a shirt on that. I took Nikki was there. She saw it. It was like, and I said, well, how long is that boy? Is it five minutes? You know. So we're going to have uniforms. We do. Red, white, and blue. Put a belt on and tuck it in. We're going to take We've been doing it ever since I was principal. Uh, I guess with or without belt. That's, that's, what the, uh, that's, what the, uh, that's what's on the agenda. It's either far with a bell or without a bell. That's what we made the motion to. Uh, well, first, we have to decide if we even want to vote on this. Well, it's, 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 it's already in the policy. It has to do what now? It's first, already we in have the to policy. decide. If we have to vote to take yeah, it out. Yeah, we got to vote to take it out. Yeah, we want it out. Well, first, we have to decide if we 
this got to be a unanimous vote that we even want to entertain. Mm -hmm. The vote. unanimous vote was on the, to amend the agenda. I asked, was it a vote? And she said, no, it wasn't a vote. No, it was just a well, roll call. It's, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a roll call vote, but it has to be unanimous in order for it to be oh, even so when discussed. You say, when you say, so I voted yes. Yeah. Okay no, with us. no, no. Just put it on the agenda. That's, right. just, that's all you voted for. Okay. Just put it on the agenda. We're just discussing. So does this vote have to be unanimous? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> but we really don't have to vote unless we vote to take the belt away, right? Or if you if you want to leave it as is and, and get more input, I, I don't know. I, I just I just know uh, this is more simple to me than complicated. You, you put rules there and you follow. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. You know this should be a problem. Is this a rule that y'all want them to continue? You know, with one yes. thing, basically. You know, coming is. into this, I, I was I really wasn't that that fired up about you know, trying to enforce a belt or, a, or and, and golly, you know, don't kick the kid out because he doesn't have a belt on one day. But, uh, but I'm not, use a little common sense. I mean, we're sensible people. We can be a little sensible about this. And I really wasn't too fired up about them, you know, having to have a shirt cut. I sure don't Can't hear shirt cut. Sure yeah. I wasn't too fired up about that either. But, listening to you, and talking about what you can hide up under a shirt that's not taken. That's the very reason we that, that 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 makes a little bit of that makes like, quite a bit of sense to me. Like our backpacks, they're mesh and clear, but there's so much stuff in kids' backpacks. We don't check those every day. You know, we don't go through every piece of their backpack either. Because well, we don't have metal detectors. Yeah, well, that, but that really doesn't make any difference. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I, we, we, oh, yeah. we can we can throw examples like that out all day long. They, they hid it. They, she said they hid. They had a kid who hid a knife. Well, sure, but I mean, like I said, we can be sensible about but, but, but again, it's going to be many kids, like I said today, to try you with bagging pants because what's going to determine what's the right angle from that waist? And I can tell you, most kids from my neck of the woods, that's their style, which is to wear their pants down, and you're going to catch raw hell. Brother, it ain't just to your neck of the woods anymore. It's everywhere. That's, that's right. That's why, that's why I no. mentioned that we did not, we really did not enforce belts in tucking the shirts this year, and we did not have any issues with it. Well, I know, but still, you could have issues with it. Right. I mean, Man, just with the kids, you know, just um, all, it takes, it, all it takes is one thing happening, and we'll be talking about it, just like we did a few months ago about safety, about safety in school. Yeah. You know? But then we forget about it yeah. two months later, and, and, and we go back to where we were. Right. And as far as being tucked in, I, I feel like they should be tucked in. Belt. Hey, I'm optional. I'm good with optional belt. You got your shirt tucked in, but but I, I but if you're gonna have your shirt tucked in, you ought to at least wear a belt anyway. But if a kid if a kid doesn't have a belt on, for goodness sakes, get him a belt or, or get hey, somebody to get him. When I was there, we kept belts. Yeah, we kept belts and out. shirts and all that. Just like just like we kept And then they don't return. But, but they the one problem we're having all this is the teacher become a referee. Yeah. They, they're constantly telling them to do this and do that and instead of teaching them. That's, that's, same, that's the same problem issue we with. got with cell phone. Now. That's the problem I see with this. They're going to try. I mean, they're they're just constantly do. trying to tell this one to tug it in and this one to tug it in mm -hmm. instead of teaching. That's my problem with it. Well, what is the. Uh, and I believe that's probably why the survey the results are the way they are. Is the teachers are just tired of dealing with that when you've got all the other things that you've got to deal okay, with. Okay, but, but let's go to number nine. Hair is to be kept neat and clean. That's something you got to deal with. All clothing should be him. That's something you got to deal with. Pierce, jewelry, leggings, tights, appropriate footwear. I don't care what it is. Every bit yeah, of it is something you can, either you're going to have uniforms or you're not. I mean, so um, if you're going to have uniforms, tuck your shirt tail in, wear a belt. If you don't want uniforms, you just open up a can of worms, you don't want to Fish with. We didn't have a uniform for us. When I went to school, we didn't have no uniform. I agree. We also we carried also, we we also also shotgun. Carry 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 <laughs> we pulled up with our shotgun on the back. back. <laughs> we don't do that. No, we don't do that. I'm going to open up another can of worms. Can we vote on this? No, I want to open up this. School uniform regulations. Switch back to the next page. School uniform regulations. Where it says, on number three, where it says any khaki tan or navy pants shall be allowed. Not denim. I don't see why we can't allow denim. Jeans? Yeah. 
Come on, what's the difference between denim and khaki? I mean, come on. Why not allow denim? Why not, why not allow blue? With no denim? holes. Huh? With no holes. With no <laughs> holes. No holes, but why not allow denim of all colors? Well, no. Because if you're 14, you can't buy a pair without holes in them. But uh but what would be the problem with I mean I don't understand the lockdown as far as the uniform regulations. Why not? Would that be a problem? But that's special days. When they have special G Well, days. then the schools wouldn't be able to collect that dollar from every student. <laughs> I, I was going to bring it up. The high school but, but, you know, you, 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 know, you, you pay for the uniform and anyway. you pay not to wear the uniform. But it's yeah. not your own point. That's what I was going to bring it up. <laughs> I was going to bring that up. It goes right back to the kid. Can we vote on keeping it like it well, is? Well, I'll tell you how you can remedy this. You, 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 can, you can have a motion for or against. If it dies for a lack of a second, you know where you're going. That's the end of the. It, it ain't no sense in wasting time because I need to go. It, you, we, we need to deal with it. I, I'll, I'll make a motion again. I'm against 100% against belts. 100%. Against, against belts? I mean, for wearing belts. But the surveys, I have, I, I'm willing to respect uh, you guys' aspect uh, of that because I ask you to do that. And that's what you said. You want, that, that's what you did. I can't change the results. Uh, they were overwhelmingly not for enforcing it. Uh, I'll make a motion that uh, they no longer have to wear the belts. But they have to have a shirt tucked in. Yeah, they have the shirt tucked in. The only thing I'm saying is that you're going to have problems. And I told you, don't bring them to me because I don't want to deal with them. Because I already know what they're going to do. That requires a second. Well, uh, there we go. It dies for lack of a second. But if you don't have, like, a, if you don't have the belts. Well, hey, we, now we got to vote on something else. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying I can't. I can't make a motion because I've already made one. I, well, I don't care. I mean, we, I'm trying to get beyond it. Now somebody got to make a motion for belts. Well, it's already in no, there. So do we have to make one for it? Is it already in there? Yeah, it's already in there. That's the oh, There's really, really nothing y'all have to do. Yeah, just make everybody add it to the room. Yeah. You can't make a motion to leave the policy as is. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Yeah, that was because we were modified. Okay. Should we come back and look at this later, or just leave it as we have it to do? Problem is, is 60, 60 days. days. Yeah. So if we did it, it, it would be. Yeah, it would be in the middle of the school year after people. I wish we had talked about this a month ago. Yes. Well, hey, I try to give right, you a good chance. I, just, I have teachers take me and they're watching. Um, they're saying, like, I literally never had problems with pants. Never had problems with pants. Yeah, well, they're, that's what they're taking me. Like, I'm watching the meeting. Um, I do not, I don't have a problem with kids' pants, like, falling off. But they don't have a problem with shirts untucked and no belt. So you just said, then why worry about it? One kid out of 425, we had one, and the parent brought the belt. Okay, so that's not a problem. It hasn't yeah. been a problem all year. So you're leave it away. Not the no, that's the not belt. the problem. The, the no, that's not the policy, though. They just didn't enforce what was in there. Right. So they didn't let make them wear a belt. And, and what's going to happen there, is, my teachers is that, 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 that there. rebellious group, that so they want to remove it, so not, they don't look like they're burning right back on there. Can we? How many teachers like we got in here? Cell phone policy. How many high school kids? Yeah, you can't about that. I mean, if I'm just saying, oh, yeah. yeah. but can you can you give it like you kind of did with a cell phone policy? Is give it to December and see if it's a problem? Like take away tucking your shirt tails and belts and see if it's a problem. Let's revisit in December. If it is, let's go back and put it back in. Can you do that? It's just too late. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay with no. I'm okay with no belt, but I think shirt tails. But he's already belt. made a motion. Yeah, and nobody it failed. Failed. So I mean, I mean you, you, can you, can you, you can't. Here's my thing. This is this is what gets me about what's going on right now. We 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 all stand firm right now on banning cell phones. But we, we, we worried about not making them look right and worried about them not following the policy. Stop letting these dang kids run the dang place and this is the adults run the place. That's the bottom line. Do what you're supposed to do. And I have one teacher that said, I want khaki bottoms with belts and shirts. Yeah, yeah. When you open up that door, you just have 25 different opinions. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, why, that's, why I, that's why I did the survey because I wanted everybody's yeah. honest opinion. I did it anonymously with no email. I just just tell me what you honestly think, um, and that those are my. Which opinions. is which is exactly why 
I think it was appropriate to open it up for other people's opinion because I'm not out there in the style and what, what, what goes on now. It, it's only fair that the people that's going to be implementing this, pro, this, this policy able to give us some feedback, whether we accept it or not. I don't know what's going to work at your school. I know what you told me. Even though I'm 100% against it, I'm still flexible and was willing to give you guys that. Go to December. If it's working, fine. If it's not, we change it. I don't see anything wrong with that. But it's too late to do that now. And you can't do it next month because of 60 days unless you go into a September. Because as long as you give them 60 days, you're fine. Because I don't want to be too hard on a kid, but I want them to follow some rules. I think you reward them, and if they can't uphold that reward, then you take it away from them. I'm for belts, but if you guys say it's, it hadn't been a problem, it's no issues or whatever, hey, deal with it. But, but you're also saying don't come to my office with a kid that's repeatedly showing his rear end about a belt when I sit right here in this office, I mean in this board meeting, and said. I'm for better. Right, because it's, it stops at the principal's level anyway. It, even if it, unless it's an expulsion, and it's, uh, uh, what is it, Nick, it, it's, if it's uh, appeal, we don't deal with it anyway. So, I mean, that's that's it. That's why we're here for you to make the policy and decide. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it's been yeah. decided. The policy is there. Let's yeah. go to the next slide. It's already been decided. <laughs> we didn't get a second. So now. I'd like to make a, another motion. I'd like to make, make a motion that, that as far as on two, well, combined motion of, on the school uniforms that we allow Dylan to be war as part of the school uniform. You can't do that right now. Why not? Because denim is, is that wasn't a part of the, uh, it was for belts, right? I don't know it was it was a, no, Yeah. Sorry. Now you can amend the agenda what to did, add what that did, on. What was the agenda? So just add dress code. I didn't write down. Oh, dress code. I thought it was Okay, well, if, if, if it's dress code, then, I mean, if you want to amend it to uh, do that, Randy, you can do that. If you make a motion, you get a second. I don't think we specified what else. Okay. Well, I'm fine. Question. Did the public know y'all were going to talk about this? No, you got to get input. Hmm. Anyway, I'd like to make a motion. Well... I was sending most of that, man. I was sending that. Man. So we just gonna leave it like it is. Well, I mean, it, it, it's it's out there now, Randy. If, if if you want to bring something up, because they're saying that dress code, which is broad, so if you, if you want to add that on, uh, we can we can amend the agenda and uh, get a motion a second, and uh, you know it can be discussed. Because I mean, we're still going within the sixty days. That's that's the most important thing that we're within those sixty days. If it's gonna if denim is gonna be added. It needs to be done tonight. What do you think? Well, if it's not added tonight, so okay. So let's just think through this. Sixty days. If we if we come in and we add denim in July, then we have to give them sixty days notice that we're allowing them to wear right. jeans on uniform days. They are going to wear jeans on spirit dress days, so well, that would not talking, be the end of the world for us to come back and look at that in July. But you're talking about denim every day, right? Yeah. 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 He's, talk, he's talking about just address, your I mean, uniform could be packed in April. I don't think it any difference of 30 days into the school year that we can wear denim. You can wear denim. Yeah, yeah, so we could always come back and look at that yeah, in July. Like, well, 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 I'm going to tell you that. that if we add that, my substitute motion is going to be just do away with uniforms. That's, that's what I'm going to offer uh, in addition to what he's doing because we're getting away from what we started. And I'm on set. Well, there we're going to have a problem because in 60 days, if we do away with uniforms, well, parents have already bought uniforms. So I only said that because denim was not a big deal. Yeah, I, and I, I think denim is, is fine. I, I, I would prefer denim. But if, if there's a policy that's there with uniforms and we add denim, then you may as well just let them put on whatever they want. And what color denim? Or blue, black, 
green, red, purple. Yeah, you know, well, you know, and what and I, I just tend to think, I mean, it looks like this this policy was passed in, what, 2001? Yeah, it's been uh, but, I mean, it's been 22 years, and if we evolve this policy with times, that's not the end of the world. They are here it's not the end of the world I mean, that, we, that this policy evolves. It's right here, corduroy pants and khaki tan or navy, maybe they, one they, or go away. They, they don't wear khaki. So you, they, they do wear corduroy? Right here. The policy says only in cold weather. Yeah. <laughs> That's but it's not the style, so they so, don't wear it. Well, I don't know. Good question. Brandon, if, if I were you, I'm not telling you what to we do. Were, we were in I would go on the air tonight and be done. But I don't see the problem with it. And yeah. honestly, as tight as these kids wear these khaki pants and shorts right now, denim is a little bit thicker. I'm, I'm, I'm back to bear. I mean, if we don't have a, if we not go for a force you for it, this don't happen. How does that, how does not having denim do away from it? I think. Because that's not uniform. I mean, why? Ain't, why? Well, it, it ain't no reason why it ain't, but find, find me a school that wears <laughs> blue jeans and uniform. I'm sure they're out there. I don't doubt it. Uh, I bet you we could find one of the other <laughs> Nigga, this, this is not New York. This, this is not on the uh, <laughs> still fine. Anyway, I, like I said, I resent I rescinded that motion and let's move on. Let's, go, let's, let's move on. We can discuss this later. Alright, item B is financial update. I'm gonna kind of combine the D and F. Alright. So uh, you have twenty one pages in front of you, and all that is another one pager. Uh, first page talks about the uh, supposed Provision to the budget for general fund. The original budget's in the left hand column and the is in the right hand column. Uh, originally, we had a $350,000 deficit whenever we started this out. We amended it to $550,000 to allow for two bus purchases. And now we're looking at a $900,000 deficit. And to simplify the numbers, uh, under revenues, we got $305,000 decrease. Take out that blue line, that's contributions, that nets out with the bottom, with the number towards the bottom. So really we had a $200,000 change on uh, revenues, negative and negative. Uh, uh, 128,000 of that is MFP, 85,000 is in direct costs. 85,000 is not lost, it's a revenue that can be obtained in a future year, next year, where we spend the remaining extra of money. Whenever we did the budget, I just made a ballpark guess that we were going to spend all the ESSER money, so I budgeted all the ESSER uh, direct costs in there as well. Um, so that's $200,000 on the revenue side. Salaries is in pretty good shape, $12,000 variance out of $8 million. Benefits is in pretty good shape, $14,000 variance out of $15 million, out of $5 million. Then we get down to the other category. Uh, the first three. Uh, you have a $70,000 change, a $52,000 negative, and a $12,000 uh, increase. And those are additional increases to the expansion line. That's $30,000 net. That $30,000 is largely made up of one item, which I'm greatly simplifying. Uh, we had security guards that we did not pay for in 22, did not budget them in 23, because I didn't realize we were supposed to have that cost. So we paid for two years in 23. That was 15000 total 30000 They didn't send us the invoice. And that was so we did not know that it was not paid right. until we got the invoice in the next year and right. had to pay both of them. And that was through the sheriff's office. Um, they charge us for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. RSO? No, 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 no. We, we pay that too, but this is for security of football and basketball um, games. <coughs> is there anything else? Softball, baseball. We, we have to have security at all the games. And so it's usually all junior high, officer. elementary, we have yeah. to pay them, and, and we we pay the sheriff's office who pays the officers to do that for us. That way, we're not having as sound as employees on our books. So it's great to simplify our own. Um, then you get down to supplies. That's eighty-five thousand dollar increase on that line item. Uh, we had eighty thousand dollar additional in repairs which is included in that number, and an additional 30, and that's as far as one of buses. And we had a $39,000 increase over fuel that was originally budgeted. Uh, the property line item, that's, again, netting back with that $124,000 at the top. Uh, so you take that out, uh, that leaves um, $115,000 increase, because 19 plus, you have to add the 96 back, that's $115,000. 
so you had five hundred fifty thousand dollar deficit. You had a two hundred thousand dollar decrease on revenues. One hundred fifteen thousand dollar increase on on expenditures. That's eight hundred sixty five thousand up to nine hundred thousand. So that explains why we're having an increase, uh, having a uh, increase on the deficit projection. Um, and then I have various comments down from go to page. 14 of 21, this is a revision on the sales tax, and this is favorable. Uh, we have more, in, more money coming in by about $100,000, and obviously we will spend that $100,000 on the employees on their salaries on the 13th check. So we're moving that by $100,000 on both line items. Go to the next page, we're talking about lunch fund, and um, Sanders done a great job on being able to put in additional money and on federal money, we were, uh, we're increasing that by $152,000. Uh, MFP, we originally budgeted 100. David, I, I got a question. Yes, sir. Uh, and stop me anytime. On yeah, the if, and I don't want to debate this now. Okay. If if the kids are getting free lunches, where's all this other money on the lunch side? I mean, how's that going from? I guess what I'm asking, if I go on vacation for $500 and I spend a thousand. To me, that's a problem. Okay. So if, if we're talking about $900,000, that's a uh, <coughs> deficit or whatever the case may be, no matter how I look at that, that causes me a concern because I'm supposed to trust and verify. Mm -hmm. So I'm not putting you on the spot of nope. the internet. My voice carries, so don't nobody think I'm upset. I, I just think we we have a right to know uh, specifically where we at, how we got here, what we need to do to get out of it. Because I think I mentioned to you, uh, I'm assuming that the 13 check is not added in this. The uh, the salaries for June is it, does that go in addition to what's already there? No, the the revised budget mm -hmm. has everything in there okay. that I think that we will end up with it. In. Okay, because nine hundred thousand is a lot of money nine yes, in nine months. So what you're asking is like when we have our next board meeting, is this number going to increase? No. Yeah. Yeah, so because I mean, I mean, this is where I believe we will land at the end of the year, that the, which is June the 30th. June, you're right. Of what calendar 2023. year? You're, you're writing a budget for this year or next year? No, I'm right. This is a That's revised this budget for this 2023. Okay. Yeah. The okay. year we're about to end. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, and we I mean, have to we have to amend it in order to be within five percent uh, of a law that if we're not within five percent, we get a budget cut. Right. So so what gets you out of this nine hundred? I guess is what I'm asking. Nothing gets us out of the 900. So cutting costs uh, in places, uh, freezing certain things, that, that doesn't help? Not on this it's budget. One month. Yeah, not on this budget. No way. I do want to speak to the lunch. Yeah, I, yes, I we have all that. students who eat free, but we only get reimbursed for the kids who actually get a plate. And so Ms. Russell does a very good job every month of informing the principals what their percentages are at breakfast and what their percentages are at lunch. She writes her performance objectives to report to me, and I just did her evaluation this week. Her goal is 80% lunch, 80% of students eat lunch, and 60% of students eat breakfast. Which I guess my and she, she got there. She right. was at 80% and 59%. But it's you've got to get kids to go through the lunch right. because you only get reimbursed for the food you serve. Which I guess my question is, is as this number is going up, somebody should have seen this number going up, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. How do we get from 150 or wherever we was at, you know, to 900,000? Okay, to me, yeah. yeah, that's well, that's it's, it's a, yeah. that was my question. We were at 350. When were we at 350? When we started out in budget. We were at 350 uh, um, in September. So when I September came on 15. in October, I think it was five. It was five fifty. And we bought additional buses. And then if you look back at um, what I handed y'all out during the various months, I said that I figured we, I would hope that we'd land no more than seven hundred fifty thousand dollars deficit. So let me ask this: are, Do we owe nine hundred thousand dollars to no. somebody? No, 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 no. Okay, so how are we in a deficit? Uh, because we spent more, but we started the year with. Well, that, that was that's we what I was saying. Year with to the proposed budget, right? Which which right. means in in a nutshell, we spent more than we should have. That's right. Basically, right. what we spent. We have the money. We just spent more yeah. than we should have. On this what, first we, page. what did we budget? 
Right. Well, if we continue pay. to be a million dollars in the hole, we're going to yeah. eat up whatever money we got. We are. Right. Mm -hmm. If you look at that first page, you got that red number of $900,000. The number below that, that's how much money we relatively have in the bank, so to speak. $7,170,000. Yes, sir. And we're going to end the year with about $6.2 million. Roughly cash. I, I mean, there there's some receivables in right. that number, but that largely cash. So you got Cedar's money, and you got right. Okay. Yes, sir. But, but David, for, for me and and what I represent, this is not as simple as it's being explained. I, I think there are some things that we need to look at. I agree. I, I think uh, there are some things that we need to stop doing. Um, I, I think you know to get from where we at to where we need to be. Uh, it. Again, we'll talk about it because I don't want it to look like you know you, you're being chastised or right. anything like that. But I think there there are some problems. I think checks and balances. But Act One, for me, sometimes prevents that from happening because if you ask, it's like you're antagonized because people take things the wrong way. But we have a right to know, and we have a right to make sure that everybody else knows. So I don't want nobody to think that there's some all this other stuff going on. There's just some questions, some, some concern because I, I mean, if, if, if there's free lunches. You know, I just can't understand if you're going from here, and, and we've never had this issue before. Not that it's oh, Sandra's fault. But I, I just, I'm just yeah, I, on that, that you've been just on here. You've been me. on here, and you've been on here, and Melinda, you have. Have we ever operated at this much well, money under know. before? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. no. But I, I mean, I mean, I know you got an explanation for it. Yeah, I mean, you, you, right. You've said all that, yeah. but but you know, I I just took over as an athletic director, and I had a meeting with the coaches. And there was two or three of them that were a couple hundred dollars over, and, and we have money in other accounts to, to shift over and pay that bill, right? right? Which is what we're doing here. So, but you know, I pretty much told those guys and ladies if you know if, if you're going to be a hundred and twenty-five dollars in the hole, we're going to we have to find a way to get that money from you somehow. Mm -hmm. We we nine hundred thousand dollars. At Brookshire's, when somebody asked me how, that, that, they will put that on me. And Barry Glass and Gary Castles and Melinda, $900,000 in the hole. That's what they're going to hear. But, but we're really not $900,000 in the hole. We got $7 million to pay that. I, I see that. But So you voted on a budget, Randy, and you voted on a budget, you voted on a budget, and you voted on a budget. And everybody in here except for me, cause I, and Johnny, y'all passed this budget that we were going to go by, correct? Right. And the budget that we passed, we surpassed it by $900,000, is that correct? No, no, not, no. we yeah. surpassed it by $550,000. By 550000 so where's the 900000 coming from? Because it made a $350,000 adjustment. Okay. Out of another fund? No, there's no other, this is just general. Okay. okay. So what does that $900,000 represent? represents the, the excess expenditures that we had in the current year over revenues. Okay. Is that not what I said? We had a But we had diesel go up and you said it was like thirty nine thousand right. dollars more. But that's part of budgeting. Well but it uh, jumped from uh, like uh, part did this take into account for inflation? When y'all do the budget it or we did. But, but the inflation but it went up more and went up yeah. further than that. How much of that it was the inflation? I, I Some know, of it. I, I don't know how to answer that. Question. All of it's yeah. inflation. I mean, well, well, yeah. well, and then the insurance. Yeah, the, the property insurance, insurance is yeah. the yeah. big deal. Yeah, about two hundred thousand. This this will go up two hundred thousand more. I, I mean, if you just not us everywhere. It is, yeah. and, and we're we're actively trying to fix, find a way to go somewhere else. So, so, so for yeah. like Michael yeah. Ford's job that's available, why why do we have to hire on that position? Mm -hmm. Not, not the one he's got, the one that, he, that he's going for. When he walks back in here, we'll let yeah. him tell you. Cause, well, because for years, there was only one person doing it. Here's my issue. I think we've done too much in, in, a, in, a, in a short period of time. I think we need to stop doing what we're doing. No excuses. Let's, let's look at what we need to look at and move forward. Yeah, I ain't for, you know, giving no excuses. We, we've done some things that we should have done. I've been a part of it. We've given raise what we should have given. We've done some things that we probably shouldn't have done. Let's correct that problem and move forward. Baron, he, uh, Baron just so, yeah, I heard it. I, I keep it in my ear the whole time. Um, right now, IT department has grown and expanded more in the last 
three years since COVID than anything else, I think, in the district. We've put in more computers. We put in more Chromebooks. We have to have more programs to monitor those Chromebooks. Um, security cameras all throughout the district to help monitor our students. Um, there's no possible way to do this with just the two people we so have. So how much of this does Ms. Thompson do? She does a lot of the Chromebook repairs to get the Chromebooks back into the hands of the students. She does a lot of the repairs on uh, laptops, desktops that teachers have because they break down throughout the year. You're saying two, but you're asking Ms. Thompson. Ms. Thompson works for IT? Yes. Yes. So she and, three, she and I right now are the only two until we hire for my position. But both of yeah. with three. It was those two, Miss Merrick and, and Miss Abby. Mm -hmm. um, all all you're you're not going to be able to keep up with your teacher's technology needs with two people. There's no way. Right now, I'm They're doing the best I can. Mm -hmm. Me and both Coach Abby and I and are both doing the reason I'm asking is I check with a couple of the districts that's a little bit bigger than us, and it, you know it's just different. So I'm just trying to figure out why we're we doing so much more with less, and, and they're doing more with Less people. I don't know they how they're doing it with less. With their, with well, their I, I don't know. I mean, right. a lot of people do contract work. Because right. what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, is that if we're doing too much and we don't need to do it, that's causing this nine hundred thousand dollar problem. I so I think at some point. Instead of doing what we're doing, we need to stop doing it. I don't think he's trying to single you out. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not talking about And is this the purpose for you calling the Finance Committee meeting next week is to discuss all this? To sit down well, but, and discuss all this? But, but e e even at that, it, it's still because. But are you on the Finance Committee? No, I'm not. And I don't want to be there. Problem? Because I'm talking about, I don't, I don't want no excuses, is what I'm, I'm speaking solely for me. I don't want no excuses. We got here some way, somehow. And, and we need to be known. We need to be told why we got here, how we got here, how we get out of it. And I'm not finger pointing at nobody because we all play the role in it. I'm saying let's move forward because we don't need to be here again. Again, I got three years left, and I'm going to savor those three years. But right now, we need to work on $900,000 that we went on vacation with $100,000. we way over that. That's, now, that's a problem for me. I think we have been talking all along. Now, whether we were listening to it is another story. Well, I, but I believe all along we're working with it. A lot of what we're talking about here is... And I'm not trying to make any excuses for anybody on any of this, but a lot of this is stuff that we have no control over during this fiscal year. Now, yeah, we can move forward and we can make some we can make some arrangements for the next fiscal year. But during this fiscal year, you know, we bought two new buses that we had to add to that. We approved that as a board to buy those two new buses. That added to that to that to that fiscal. Year. Was that not in the budget? That, that was not in the budget. All right, two new buses. The, the fact that insurance went up $200,000 or more. That was not in the budget. That was not necessary for us then either. So that's $400,000 of it right there. The MFP for the last year, we lost that. That, you know, that's, that's just that's a fact of life everywhere in every school district because of COVID and everything else. That adds another hundred and some thousand. So look, you're looking at basically six hundred thousand dollars or close to six hundred thousand dollars worth of right maintenance there. projects we had not done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. And that costs have gone up along with everything else. No excuses for anything. Here's what I'm no hearing. Right? You're, you're saying, saying the if, same thing that he's saying. You, you, you're, you're, I'm you're saying, saying we have to adjust. And that's exactly what he's yeah, saying. Yeah, and I'm, but what I'm saying is I'm talking about adjusting where we need to adjust. Sure. Okay, and I got a list of. Of things that we've done, pay raises that we've given, uh, uh, position that we've created that may or may not have should have been there. So what I'm saying is, in the future, we just need to look at a few things and just backtrack on it. It's, it's not something that's made or something that somebody's done wrong. I'm saying we, we just got to be a little bit more uh, forthcoming though, because it's, MFP is not going to increase, right? No. We don't know how many and students. We're gonna, and disappear. We don't know how many students we're going to lose as a result of redistricting. Okay, we don't know how much the fuel is going to cost as a result of these buses going from point A to point B. We don't know how much it's going to cost for Union Central Road to be built. So all of this stuff has to go in the budget. All I'm saying is, let's put all of this stuff out here that we got to deal with. It's not finger pointing at her, you or nobody else. This is what we got to deal with. Let's deal with it. That's all I'm saying. Man, Randy just said uh, to me that if we continue along this path, we got four years. Well, I got three on the board, so I won't be worried about it. We can't. We, 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 we got four. If we continue, it doesn't yeah, we can't continue. There's no doubt. So we got to There's make no some way moves. 
and we've got to sit down and that's we'll start with that Monday. Exactly. We, we've got to figure out where to make cuts. What, what I mean, if we give him more money, he's obviously not going to be in the hole. But well, if we well, give him more money, we're going to run out of money. If, if I go to Jamaica and I know I spent $500 on cigars and I know I shouldn't have spent $500, I already know where the problem is at. <laughs> Again, I don't want to hear no excuses. Yes, sir. I, I'm, I, I agree. I'm, I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying. we got four years of this, and we ain't going to have no school board. Elena. Again, mm -hmm. the reason the administration says there are no issues is that we teachers gave up. That's, I mean, it's, it's common sense as to what issues exist. People don't want to deal with them. I just happen to be one to deal with them. Because these are, this is what people are saying. People are saying what? Well, no relative to a policy. Right. Yeah. 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 Change yeah. subject. Change subject. Back to the structure. Brandon, they put a new roof on my Lincoln, Hall one building, Lincoln in it all. That Jeff room. wouldn't do. <laughs> well, anyway, so we won't have to do that next year, so that won't be in there. So that'll be. I don't know what it's called, but you know, those little things add up. Some of those yeah, one-time things, things, not everything, but I guess. Well, I mean, you know what? Little things. My, my house insurance went up six hundred dollars. Everything's going up. Yeah. So anyway, get back on lunch. Yeah. Lunch. Right Keep quick. going. Yes, sir. Um, food and um, supplies went up eighty-three thousand dollars out of five hundred nineteen thousand dollars originally. What we had budgeted, uh, sixteen percent increase. Uh, we're looking at her deficit being fifty thousand originally, and now we're looking at eighty thousand. She has a three hundred. I say she lunch lunch fund has $305,000 fund balance that we came forward with. It's projected in at $225,000. Uh, favorably on that one, she is currently being reimbursed at 93% on the school lunch. Next, this upcoming year, she's gonna be reimbursed 100,000, uh, 100%. That's gonna be $80,000. So that's pretty much gonna clear out that deficit, assuming we don't have any more crazy inflation like we've had in the last year. Uh, which is a gigantic assumption, I, I agree. Uh, so that's lunch. Maintenance is on page 20 of 21. Uh, it's funded exclusively by property taxes. Uh, I over budget on that one a little bit by about $9,000. Uh, we had additional uh, cost of $179,000, that's on line 400. Uh, further down. And if you look at the next page, there's a list of items that, and this was just uh, James telling me over the phone this afternoon. I said, what all can you specifically tell me that we went up on that we didn't have last year without me having to go pull all checks and see what we did. Uh, we had a $70,000 lift station at the high school that we had to uh, replace or install. $10,000 sewer line at the high school. $10,000 on the federal roof, $5,000 on the federal floor. Uh, 10,000 wiring at the tennis courts, uh, 10,000 AC work, and that was just for one month that we didn't specify what the other months were. Uh, we had the old alternative school demolition, that was $10,000. That's an additional $125,000 that was not specifically known that we we're going to have whenever we budgeted at the end of the year. Dave, Mrs. Yes. Will, does he have a budget? Uh, he had the budget that he and I prepared, yes. Yeah, so at, at the beginning of the fiscal year, he has a budget? Yes, sir. And he knows what that budget is? Yeah. Well, he was hired after the budget was... But he still knows what it is. Oh, after September. So how do you communicate we did, that to him? We did the budget in September. How do you communicate that to him? How do you tell him this we, is how much money you we have? We sat down and talked about it. So, in expenditure, it has to be signed off on, right? Yes, sir. By... Me or what? I don't do things. Yeah. Uh, I, I see a lot of maintenance and yeah, to answer that question. Uh, yeah, and, and again, my, my question not to tank you. No, I'm just I, trying I to you know, get an understanding of how yes. this flow chart works. Right. So, because I don't want nobody calling you tonight, uh, asking you if you felt real. Because I'm, I'm only asking questions. I, I think anybody should be able to ask. Again, I, I'm not afraid to ask. I don't care if nobody else wants to ask. I'm, I'm going to ask. Yes. Uh, I don't miss my words. I don't mean no ill intent. I just I, I just have to be comfortable when I leave here to be able to answer questions. Yep. Uh, I, I support everything that we do. Okay, so when I'm asking questions, I'm only asking because I have to get some knowledge myself that other people may not have to get. 
because I think you and I can talk because you, you requested to talk to me today, but I, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't I make it. And uh, maybe I would have been able to, yeah. you know, get to where we need to get to because sometimes people misunderstand who I, I keep telling them that when I'm talking, I'm just passionate. I'm not upset. Yeah. If you, you'll know when I'm upset. Anybody in this room will know when I'm upset. So I get tired of qualifying who I am and what I stand for because it's, it's getting to be disingenuous that if I'm talking, if I'm asking, I got here to serve a purpose. Not to follow what she say, you say, no, I'm not trying to make friends again. I'm just trying to have a relationship so we can move forward. And I think what you're doing is a good job. I just think, you know, maybe when you guys meet and recommend whatever it is, we can get out of the hole and, you know, we don't have to deal with this because I support everything we're doing. And I, I've never felt intimidated. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, well I mean, I some, work directly some people, from Nikki, I work. Some people get directly the wrong the idea, you so. know, and uh, <coughs> at, at some point I'm going to start addressing, but I'm, I'm going to, if, if we're done with me, I'm, I'm going to get up out of here because I got to drive right. an hour and, and a half. I'm, I'm done with all the 21 pages, and then on the last page, the next page, uh, the items in yellow are largely uh, federal reimbursements. And those budgets are also being adjusted. Uh, the box that's drawn around uh, midway down, a little bit past midway, that's the ESSER funds. And that is obviously going to be more than 5% uh, where we did not spend all the money. That money's going to carry forward in the new year. When does it run out? Uh, 20, September 24 on some things, September 23 on things that are. We're trying to spend this stuff that's got to be spent by September, and that's why we're pushing these projects along, is trying to get everything completed by September 24. Right. So if, if, just, if anybody's being paid out of the airship funds, once it goes away, that does that come from the general fund? That comes into the general fund. And we, but do we have very many that's being uh, from that? Two, three. Okay, so, so we'll be okay on that. Yes. Sir. Two, yeah, so that, and, and one of those two is going to shift to general fund, really? but I'm trying to carry it again to help the budget this year. That's not Maria, right? Maria is the only one. Really? Mm -hmm. So Mr. So, Amos is will he will he he moved into he replaced Miss Burns, so that but that was always the plan. Right. Was to pay for the ESSER there and then shift that. So the only one is. So since I'm a fan of Maria. Is she going to be okay because her three years is coming up? I right? hope so. Well, I mean, I she, mean that's yeah. not counting on it. Okay, yeah, because she, she's we doing, do she's doing, it. yeah, mm -hmm. we what, do what we ask her to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's providing data mm -hmm. that's giving us an indication of where we're at and where we can go. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's that's one that I would so like to say. So the only two positions that I've, I've created mm -hmm. are like Michael's, okay. CIS, and Maria's. So, and he'll be okay. Okay. Well, we're good. <laughs> I, I, I got one. So, yeah, so, Nick, what do you think about this $900,000? It scares you. And, and that's why, and, and I'm going to tell you, I, I'm, my, I, I've not been making my phone up right now, but my state superintendent group is going off because of all the legislation that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. We are all so frustrated about the insurance because we, we're locked, and, and it's just, I mean, you, you triple your cost, and, and, and we're not even as bad as other districts are. And so that, the other thing that we're very frustrated about is the legislation with the MFP, and we're begging. We cannot keep surviving if you don't increase the MFP. It's not been, and, and the message I just got there is now on the table is $33 per kid. And you're like, $33, $33. yes. And so, it, 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 and we're dealing with politics. And so we're frustrated. Yes, we're, we're frustrated. Be, yes, and that's just on the table. That's an increase. An increase, but that's just on the table. That's not even gone through right now. What is that? I've got number? A, is it eight thousand? Roughly eight. Yeah. So now you know we're begging for a thirty-three dollar raise for kids. You know, and and so we're frustrated. Super frustrated. There's um, stuff with retirement that we're looking at. If they would do something with this UAL, then we would we would be able to get that money to help us with the cost that we're having to do with retirement right now. So there are a lot of things that are in that nine hundred thousand dollars that are out of our control, and that's a very frustrating place because y'all all look at me and David and you think we're not managing money. We're just trying to keep everything afloat with everything that keeps being piled on us with that. So I mean, it's, I'm I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm frustrated. I'm right there too. I want to meet so we can sit down and look because I I feel like I mean we trimmed positions last year, 
you know, we didn't fill positions, and we're trimming everywhere we can, but at the same time, we can't overload teacher classroom sizes. Well, I mean, that may end up happening. You know, and, and, and then there's legal, what you can and can't do. You know, so, I mean, it's, um, they want to I'm not them. happy about it. The one thing I do want to understand is nothing's going to be solved Monday. We're going to have to meet several Absolutely. times. Absolutely. This is not a one, Absolutely. one day thing. Absolutely. And when you have these maintenance projects, I mean, like I looked at that $70,000 lift, I mean, you're not planning on that, but are we going to say, no, we're not going to do it? Well, you may have to. Aren't you required, required by ADA to do those things? Uh, on what now? It's the, the lift at the high school. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's common sense. That's $70,000, well, though, we, that we, we weren't planning on. What I'm saying the, is... The sewer line at the high school... We're not planning on that, and then you dig it all up, and it's full of vapes and full of, of um, milk cartons. You know, I mean that's frustrating because when a kid goes in the bathroom to use a vape that's banned at school, they flush it down the toilet. Oh my gosh! Yeah. The phone that was just there. Yes. That's a, that's a possibility. Yes. I mean that's an option. All right, so nothing exploded. Short term. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yes. even if it's just holds this particular yes. issue. Right. And then we can look at what we need to do. Yep. Okay. And, well, and, and Bo, I, not that I'm discounting where we are, so many other school boards in the state are in the same position. Oh, I recognize Which is, it doesn't help us at all. I call, and, I and I don't, got plenty I'm not saying I've that. called a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are in this state and some of them ain't, but there's a lot that are. Yeah. I'll give you that. I so, have a question. What about our 13 check? Same as last year? Right. So, ballpark. So, I, I need, a, I need a, a, a vote on the amended budget. You're going to nominate him? Go ahead. Nominate. No, I ain't nominate him. I'll nominate it, then we'll accept it as amended. Awesome. Because we want to be within the law for that. Yes. All in favor? Or do we need a vote? So that he's in compliance with the state. If you don't, he's going to be out of compliance, which is going to be a finding on your audit. Okay. Motion is Ballard, second Mr. Rance. Okay, I'll do roll call. Mr. Rance? Yes. Mr. Barton? Abstain. Ms. Ballard? Yes. Glass. I think so. <laughs> uh, Mr. Yes. Castles. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, All right. Item G is review and vote on the engagement letter for fiscal year 23 and fiscal year 24 August. I forgot I had, I had another part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you have two letters in front of you. One is for the 2023 and 2024 audits. I guess for two different audits. Um, I forgot the exact price, but it's a very, very minor increase over the prior year. Uh, and then the second letter is for the refund procedures that the auditors hate doing. We hate being subjected to it. Uh, I think that was $5,500. And that, that's for a single year, 23. And the reason they did only 23 is because every year they change up the agreed upon procedures quite a bit and they did not have to change their engagement letter either. And full disclosure for Bo and Johnny, I used to work for the firm, but uh, that, that's it. I, I just, we did have a past relationship. But I would really like to stay with them. So, decided to not do it. So, y'all have to approve that. So, what are we approving? Or, uh, to stay with this form of service? Okay. Yeah. Would you need me? Yeah. I'll make that motion we stay with this firm. I'll second that motion. All in favor? No. No? No. All right, what about you want to do roll call since we got a note? I will. All right, roll call. Mr. Rance? Yes. Mr. Barton? No. Ms. Ballard? Yes. Mr. Glass? I think so, yes. <laughs> uh, Mr. Castle? Yes. Mr. Uh, item H is district leaders update. Oh, I missed four months of that. <laughs> well, of course, I'm working on this about, you know, that's the big app for all federal funds that come into the district. And so uh, that's due by June 30th. So we did, uh, working on that to make sure that we get that in way before time. Um, 
also provide the budgets for the uh, five school school improvement plan. That's the plan that they that they wrote map that they used to improve their school through this physical uh, school year and um, well, regular school year as well. We're going to that Tower Two survey again, and of course the budget for the non-public school, which is Ovalta, and all the other uh, that goes along with it. We like Mickey was saying we got all percent earned, so we got those signatures on that today from Mr. McCann, and so we got him all lined up. He sent us our contract, I'm sending him our contract, so we got them all signed, and we'll send them all back to him. I'm supposed to be that day, but I stayed down here too long. So, Ms. Wallace, some of, some of your funds, you couldn't dump it over to our general fund? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious, I'm asking. Yeah, and we're orange with it, you know, stripes, all orange, whatever. Because, I mean, because, I mean, you know, we're not going to be able to take that money and put it in the general fund. Yeah, we're going to have to take that money and put it in the general fund. You'd be in a bigger hole than we're in now. So we try to use all our grants and Nikki, everything we ask, Nikki, we have to come from the federal funds because it's not in our budget. Unless, unless you have to have a scratch and make it work, you know. But we try to use that, but those money he's in, in the budget of the federal funds. Okay, so we're going to have to take that money and put it in the general fund. And you can't dump it in the school board fund because it's called the planning. I mean, uh, yeah, the so planning. You can't supplement. We can supplement, but we can't uh, supplant. So, no, we can't. Sorry. Um, so, same thing, working on budgets for next year, new monies, uh, programs. Uh, we've had two days of registration and enrollment for next year. I think we had about 43 year olds um, come through the past two days. We did have people appraisal there, so there's already some on the um, being evaluated prior to school starting, so that's going to bring in the money because the three to four year olds don't bring in MFP unless they're identified by the IP. So that's a little plus there. Um, we have a couple of speakers that are uh, coming in to the district for parent uh, engagement and involvement that we're lining out the finals with them. Um, just a lot of planning for next year. I think the, the biggest thing the IT department's finally got finalized is a sign in front of the high school. I think everybody's combined to see it. Did a real good job making it fit with our already in place uh, stand that was there so that we didn't have to pay more money to have the whole thing with it. Um, we're working on redistributing the Chromebooks for all of the elementaries because of the, the restructuring of the elementary schools. Um, we've got new computers being worked on for the teachers for next year, new Chromebooks um, being refurbished. Um, we're redoing the server uh, backbone structure of our network this summer. Uh, that's going to be done in the next couple of weeks. We've got cameras being installed. We've got um, new Wi-Fi at both Grayson and Union Central that will be installed before school starts. I'm hoping that's going to start within the next two weeks. So, lots of stuff coming. And as much as we can, we're using this for money to complete all these projects because we have that money that can be used for these projects right. and we have to have it spent by that day. So, all these improvements and stuff are things that would not be happening without that extra money. And we're trying very hard to be, to think long term with the projects that we're doing so that they will last beyond the money. And, and one of those is the football field. So just to update you on that, um, they have um, put the sprinkler system in on it last this past week and they are planting the grass on Wednesday. The track demolition will start um, this weekend um, and through Monday, and so everything is geared up and lined out, ready to be ready for football season. So it looks really good. Uh, Get some grass on it. Very, very, very excited roll. about it. Very excited about it. And that's, um, like I said, that's a project out of this, or that will benefit and for a long time. Just, just to give you a, a little vote of confidence there on the football field, I had a good friend of mine tell me today that 
uh, he walked on his football field one year where they came in and we did it July the 1st with no grass. Mm -hmm. But it got there. So we, they, we, they were sure we can get it. Yeah. We can get our it goal uh, their goal posts are going to have to be moved up. They're mm -hmm. two feet too small. So we'll have to lift those. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but it's going to be worth it and it's going to be good for our kids um, for a long time. Um, Ms. Adams wanted me to let you know that our summer camp got kicked off this um, year. It's our last year of funding for it, but there's 261 students, and so that's um, great. Um, we set that. We had our job fair, our first ever job fair yesterday. We had about 18 to 20 people who came to it, and that was from cafeteria to um, teachers. You know, so we did any prospective employees. We did. We did. We did. The video that was done, there was two ladies from from this area in Texas uh -huh. uh, inquire. I gave them Angela's number oh, good. And, good. and they were, even though Texas paid more, they were ready to move back. Mm -hmm. So I, I went, I think it was a great thing. Mm -hmm. I think if you can do it another time and another time, I think it's something that mm -hmm. needs to be mm -hmm. highly publicized and whoever came up with the idea, you guys, that was uh, it was, I was impressed mm -hmm. was uh, was to good. see all of them together, mm -hmm. uh, you know, working for the come and go. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they had it. A1. A1. I think it would, it might, I don't know if stuff like that can go on, you know, the YouTube or whatever, but those are type things that the marketing aspect uh, would, would be good for, you know, the school itself. Because, I mean, it was it was well planned. I mean, I, I tried to take a, a few pictures, but they didn't come out right, but they did, a, we did a video, and like I said, they were able to talk, and as a result of that, a few people that saw it, because I think it's three, four hundred some people viewed it, but there were two responses, mm -hmm. and uh, they were uh, directed to Angela. I think it's a, a very good way. We were very yeah. pleased with the turnout. We had yeah. no idea, and, and we had about 18 to 20 people, so that was great. I watched the video from the table home. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good. Yeah, we did. In the, in the newsletter, we put out those welcome videos, mm -hmm. and so they're planning their activities, too, for families to get people, you know, into the school buildings and, and start seeing what it's like. The teachers are planning, and, and, and they're, they're excited. They're excited about um, what's, what's happening. Mm-hmm. I think it's this weekend. Is it okay? I, I think it. I think this one it is. A little man. They got. Oh, oh, I man. Man. Yeah, I think it was. I think it's Saturday. I saw somewhere where they had. And this uh, one was trying to plant, but I haven't heard anything different. Okay. Yeah, uh, I if saw you, it somewhere. If you early. see that, share that with yeah, me because uh, we everybody's been asking. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. That's something else that you know has just been devastating for our um, our community. We're meeting on finance committee. No, not the twelfth. On the twelfth, at eleven o'clock. Baron, did you want to meet with the policy meeting? Brandon, did you want to still uh, do the uh, jeans and stuff? Because we we need to meet on it. If if so. That's not a day. That's not a day. You out of town, right? I can be here that morning. It was that morning. Eight at eight. Okay. So, policy committee meeting June twentieth at eight o'clock. Yeah. 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 And then the last thing is, um, y'all do my evaluation. I gave you that last week, and it's got to be done. I only have one person who's submitted it. I have no idea. I, only one person has done okay. it. It's that online. If you need me to send you the link again, I can. But um, it has to be done. You might send it to me as much as I did. <laughs> <laughs> I have one person has. So. Yeah. so I could try to get that done by June 23rd. That would give me time to get it printed off and get area signed off before June 30th to get my folder. Well, I'm going to tell you, I ain't going to do mine because I already told you how I feel. I think you I, I think you're where you need to be. That's good enough. Just click the button and say yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Turn the camera on. Click whatever you want to click. <laughs> I might do my own evaluation. Yeah, you can do that. Well, everybody know. Well, everybody know. Do you want to make a motion to adjourn? Please do. Yeah.
I'll make it. I guess 